Now let's have a look at this image display window here on the right side. Similar to the projects tab, this image display window will show up in several other places in our software, including the process and quantify tabs, and in a different form in our analysis tab. This top left options here allow you to control how your data is being displayed within our software. This will allow you to enhance the contrast or alter the lookup table that's being applied to the image to allow you to better visualize what you're trying to see. None of this will change permanently your raw data. This is simply for the display within our software. Across the top, we have different annotations available. We can do scale bars, and if you click on this annotation, there's other options like a counter, an arrow, lines, as well as text, which you can use to annotate your image directly here within the Acquire tab if you like. We also have easy navigation buttons here, zooming in, zooming out, fitting it best for the display size, all available with the click of a button. Around the image, we'll have different elements to control the dimensional information. In this case, I've got a Z stack loaded. So we have our Z stack, or our Z information controls here on the right side. If we had a time lapse or multiple stage positions, those would be available here on the bottom. On the right side, we can hit this plus sign to add an additional image viewer, which is a nice feature if you wanted to compare two images that you have on this machine. Moving down, we can either have a single image with an overlay as displayed here, or multiple images on their own individual panes here. So this is one image broken out with each individual channel displayed individually. You can control which images are on, or which channels are on through these choices here on the right. This also allows us to do a maximum projection, which will take the brightest intensity values for each pixel through the Z stack and compress it into a two-dimensional image of the brightest pixels. And here at the bottom, we also have our multi-dimensional gallery, which is really nice if you've got large time lapses or big Z stacks, where you can go through and pull subsets of that entire experiment out for analysis or demonstration 